All right, so in this problem, we're solving for x, and you should take a moment, read it, and then press play, and we'll solve it together. Okay, so why, why do we say here that you can check your work with a graph, but no credit will be given for only a graphical solution? Why, why bother? It seems punitive. Well, let's just first establish that you could. You could graph this and graph that, see where the things meet, and be done with it. But you're trying, you know, this is part of an algebra class. So I want you to develop your balancing skills and the ability to play with a problem given certain constraints. In this case, only balancing. And actually, it's kind of fun because here, the different bases, oh, wow, wishful thinking. Maybe it'd be nice if I could have them written as the same base. And you can because you can write 16 as 2 to the fourth. And then that's the 2x plus 1. And that's got to equal 2 to the third to the 2x minus 2 minus x. Now, the laws of exponents tell us I can multiply this 4 by the 2x and 1 and this 3 by the 2 minus x. Let's do that. We get 2 to the 8x plus 4. Don't forget to distribute it to both. Equals 2 to the th 6 minus 3x. Don't forget to distribute it to both. The only way these two sides can be equal is if 8x plus 4 equals 6 minus 3x. And we can solve that. Add 3x to both sides. 11x, subtract 4 on both sides, is 2. And here's your answer. x is 2 elevenths. And you can solve that in a calculator. 2 divided by 11, 0.182 if you run into the nearest thousandth. All right, hope that helps.